podcast at Porter Cullen's Coach Ram, Jim Ramazinski. It's Football Friday, and uh, we're out and about for this episode. I appreciate you joining me up here at uh, one of my favorite local pubs. Yeah, no problem. Come here all the time with the family. Great yeah, spot. Yeah, that's what they told me. They yeah. told me you're a regular. And uh, before we get into what's going on this week, I want to bring in the owner of Porter Cullen's, Kirtan Gandhi, uh, who is nice enough to host us. It's homecoming week for Evergreen Park. And I was like, what I want to do is I want to blow it up. I want to do this at a at a spot where it's lively and people are ready to have a good time because I think that's what this weekend is all about. How are you, my friend? Oh, we're living the dream. How are you doing? I'm good. What, what do you have coming up here in October? You always do such a great job putting the place together like i've been driving down 99th street and saying to myself i'm getting in there this weekend because it is lit up and i love what you do at the place i appreciate it yeah we did a little bit i call it halloween adjacent uh decorations so i give you a little bit of fall a little bit of halloween and coming up this month we're doing all kinds of different specials we're going to do sip and paints in the party room and we'll have some wine paint some photos uh we're going to be doing trivia and then as our pairings we're going right into fall a little bit of stir fry a fall salad and actually like an Indian inspired flatbread with some curried vegetables and things like that. So we have a, a whole new drink program coming out as well to kind of embrace the fall flavors, apple cinnamon, all the types of things that you come to expect uh, as the temperature cools down. The one thing I didn't hear you say was something with pumpkin in it. Did you, oh. did, you, did, did you resist the pumpkin or did you go all in on the pumpkin? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, we have the, uh, we'll have pumpkin pie. We're going to have, uh, as you know, our dessert. We're also going to have uh, you know, a pumpkin-inspired drinks uh, as well. So it, it, a lot of different things. And as I always say, I'm always soliciting feedback from my customers. So if there's something you want to try, a cocktail you have had that you really want us to, uh, you know, dabble in, we are always welcome for that. So that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little football now. Yeah. And on a side note, yeah, the, the high school appreciates your generosity towards us as well. And th- I know you've hosted events here, things like that. So we appreciate it as well. Thank you. Thank very Thank you much. guys. Thank you for the opportunity, man. It's awesome. I have such a good time. So yeah. I appreciate this is a good spot after the game, after homecoming. This is a good this this is good for pregame and post. I mean, it's right up the street on 99th Street. I, I would expect you'll see some people come in here. I sincerely hope so. And if for the parents that want to have their own homecoming. Please come by. We'll we'll throw a party here too. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. All right. So um, let's talk about for just the quickest of moments last week's game. Uh, Forty to nothing. You, you go down to Shepherd at home. Yeah. I, I'm sure that you've probably had to explain this to so many people at this point, and uh, I, I just feel like. That's just got to be something that after it's over, you're you have you have a message that you have to give your team after a game like that. Yeah, you know, no, you mentioned explaining it. Yeah, I mean that, but the reality is that's part of it, and I don't mind explaining what happened. I I support my team. I want them to be see me support them, and you know it was not our night for obvious reasons. We we lost a, we lost by a big score. Um, Kind of some similar issues that we had in the past week with some turnovers, uh, not capitalizing. We had, you know, dropped three interceptions, uh, had a field goal block called back for a touch, probably was on the way to a touchdown, you know. But at the end of the day, we as a team take ownership of it. We're working on moving forward, having a great homecoming week against Eisenhower on Friday night. All right, and, and, and the thing that I, the thing that struck me when I saw that result on Friday was this goes back to something we've talked about and is this the result of being successful in previous years and having six guys go off with college scholarships to play at the next level and you're playing some younger kids right now this is the ebb and flow but I mean it does also show that you develop and move guys up but then this is kind of the the next year after that you got to get ready and move more guys up. Well, we we have a we have a strong senior class this year too. You know, they, they, we have some great players, some hardworking kids, and you know, I think we did have to replace a lot of starters. We're seeing some of the growing pains with that. But you know, at the end of the day, it's high school football. That's part of it, and it's on me and the coaches, and you know, to push our players to their highest potential, and you know. Guys are working hard. Uh, the result isn't always there, but we talk about, you know, this is just a part of part of the process. Sometimes things don't go your way. Um, in the end, you know, you might not win every night, but I hope you walk out of this program a winner. And winners don't, you know, give up because they had a bad night. And we're doing our best to continue to go forward and get ourselves ready for our next game. 
All right, as we sit here at Porter Collins on 99th Street, uh, just off of Clifton Park, it's actually right, that's the intersection, 99th at Clifton Park, right off of Central Park. Um, and, and you say you've come up here before. Do you have a favorite item? Because mine's, my, here's the thing, like I, I walk in, I say I'm going to get something, I always try something new, but I can't help myself, I always get the Irish egg. Is there something that you get when you come up here? I, in the winter, I like to get the shepherd's pie. Uh, yeah, that's my daughter's big pick yeah, up here in the winter. I, I, I like everything here. I come here a lot with my wife, my kids. Um, everybody likes it. It's a great spot. That's awesome. And and people might be here before and after. And, and after may even be a bigger scene here because I know before you have the Homecoming Fan Fest. This is the first time that you guys have done this uh, leading into Homecoming Week where you have that whole block that's now been created on the campus where it's Sexton uh, Sexton Drive. Is that what they call it? Yeah, Mayor Sexton Drive. Okay. Uh, there's 430 to 630 uh, before the varsity game. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, students, families, everybody's welcome, and um, we're excited to celebrate. It kind of, you know, the homecoming week is a super fun week and a crazy week at a high school. We're we're pumped up. I mean, we have um, the parade on Thursday coming through the neighborhood. We so ha- parades Thursday. Yep. And then Fan Fest is going to be on Friday, the the fourth, four thirty to six thirty at on Sexton Drive. And, and the way that it's described, I mean, you. I want to make sure you get everything in this thing, okay? You've got face painting, you got games, you got inflatables. Oh, yeah. There's foods. That, there's going to be all kinds of food out there, crafts for purchase. So they got kind of like a little area for purchasing different food and different crafts. There's going to be like a fair there. There's a dunk tank. There's a photo booth. There's raffles. There's prizes. It's for the whole community, not just if you have a kid in the high school, you go to the high school. It's for anybody in Evergreen Park to come and celebrate your hometown team. And that's what I think is really cool about it. I'm also wondering, uh, any of the coaching staff going to break away from pregame festivities and get in the dunk tank i i don't think uh, i don't think there's gonna be time for that they haven't approached you they haven't said hey coach dunk no, tank 4 no, 30 coach the game after they have not done that yet <laughs> but uh no it's a it's a, it's gonna be a great event uh all, all ages welcome it's a good opportunity if you haven't seen our campus to come out and check it out um and you know, like the, that's a great day. Like the kids, the, the students at Evergreen have a pep rally that day. I know Fox News is coming to do a school high school spotlight that day. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot going on. And then of course the game on Friday night, capped off by the dance on Saturday, should be a great way, week for our students, and we're we're excited for them. That's right. The dance is Saturday. Another another reminder that if you got the kids out at the dance, you wanted to be close by, come over here to PCs, have yourself a drink, uh, an appetizer, and w- wait for them to be done i i i've got one kid that just got through high school one that's currently in there right now and another one that thinks that he's going there but he's a ways away and uh this is one of those big weekends when you got a kid that's in high school they're moving around they're doing an awful lot of stuff how do you keep these guys focused on the game because this has got to be the most distracting week for them well you just you just talk about it at practice You, you trust your guys to stay focused make the right decisions i mean let's let's be honest you know I have them for the hours at practice and, you know, tell them every message we can and we have confidence that our guys will stay focused and be ready to go on Friday night. Yeah, and you know what you tell them? You tell them the dance is better if you won the game before. Well, okay, that's I mean, definitely true. Chicks dig touchdowns. I'm just <laughs> saying, guys. <laughs> so so you got you got the big party beforehand, you got the game, and uh, you got an opponent in Eisenhower. Tell me a little bit about them and uh, what we should expect. Eisenhower, uh, they're kind of right now. They're two and three, like us. They had um, a massive amount of talent last year, and they still have a lot of talent. They one of their, they have one of the best players in the state on their team, who's going to U of I. He's a he's a, he's a great player. What position he's by? Uh, well, he play. He's going to go and play uh, safety in college, but this year. Uh, plays safety, he plays receiver, he plays running. He's everywhere because yeah. he's in high school. He's all over the place. So right. He, uh, so, but, you know, it's not just him. They, they got a great team. They have a new coach in there who's working hard, doing a uh, good job. And, again, we're excited for the opportunity to play a conference opponent at home and have a great homecoming night. When you run into a player that's at a level like you just described, I mean, you get a guy going to a Big Ten school and he's going to be a safety He's good at a lot of things, right? He's probably good at all those positions you mentioned, but that's clearly his best position if that's what Illinois wants him to be. How do you game plan for something like that? Is that like you're telling your quarterback just know where he is before you start making decisions? or like Because well, he's probably at a different level than everybody else. Um, usually every Monday at practice, we go through their personnel pretty thoroughly yeah. with the kids. Um, so we, it's, you know, we, we didn't just talk about him. We talked about everyone. But, yeah, no, I mean, there's um, – 
there's certain games when you play, you know what a focus point has to be, and you just got to communicate that to the boys, but you also have to make sure they understand that, hey, he's, he's a high school kid just like you too. So you right. got to go out there, just got to know your job, know your responsibilities, uh, be consistent and high effort, and good things will happen. What's the key on offense? Is it the line? Is it uh, establishing the run? Is it, uh, you know, you you have a quarterback that converted back to quarterback after a few years of not doing it? Like, is it is it that kind of play? What What's the key for you? This well, I week? think for in the past two weeks, I think we just got to focus on taking care of the football, um, minimizing mistakes that are costly. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think if we do that, uh, we'll be in a good position to uh, have some success and... You know, again, we we just got to make sure, and this is something that we hone in every day, every week. Everybody matters out there, offense, defense. You know, all 11 have to be doing the right thing. I'm a defensive coach by trade, and I always tell the guys, you know, hey, if we make one mistake, one guy makes a mistake, we might be okay. Two guys make a mistake, we're probably giving up a first down. If three guys make a mistake, we're in some serious trouble. Right. And I think people get lost in – Sometimes watching football, especially like now with fantasy football, people look at, you know, individual stats and all that. And the reality is it's the ultimate team sport. You need 11 guys to be on the same page, uh, to be working hard together. And when you have that, that's when good things happen. Are you enjoying this week? What's that? Are you enjoying this week? Homecoming week? Yeah, you're enjoying homecoming yeah. week. Yeah, no, I mean... See, you smiled. I was, I'm wondering. I'm wondering, are you enjoying it, besides, or are you trying to get to the end of it and then collapse on your couch? That's no, what I'm trying to besides, figure out. Every coach in the United States will tell you homecoming week is a challenge sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, the reality is, I think I said this maybe last week, it's a, especially for juniors and seniors, it's kind of a, you only get this opportunity to enjoy a week like this once or twice uh, in your life. And it's always a fun week, and I'm excited for the boys to enjoy themselves, uh, for our, all of our students to enjoy themselves. And, yeah, it's going to be a great week. Head coach Jim Ramazinski, Coach Ram, and the Evergreen Park Mustangs uh, take on Eisenhower Friday night. Do not forget that the pregame begins at 4 30 with that massive event for homecoming uh it is going to be an absolute blast the parade will be in the area of the school uh I, I, if i'm not mistaken you guys are on the east side of kedzie going through the neighborhood there probably north uh, i'm sorry south of 99th street on uh, no it streets. goes it actually just goes west of kedzie you're going west i, I mixed yeah. up my directions yeah right west of kedzie on the yes. south end of, of 99th through the neighborhood there yeah it's want down to see it. 100th and 99th yeah and yeah if, you, if you're out and about around four you'll hear them on thursday you'll see it you'll hear them so. you'll hear the noise as they come along the dogs will start going nuts the band will be playing yeah it'll be great pre-game the game on friday well, night everybody get out and there. the parade is great because you get representation from all of our activities yeah. clubs sports uh band and band band will be in it band has been doing a great job all year uh, so we're excited to march with our our fellow teams and our fellow classmates. All right. Get out there Friday night. Enjoy the Fan Fest ahead of time. And thanks so much, Coach Randy. Thank you. Have a good week. It's the EP Podcast. All things Evergreen Park. It's the EP Podcast. Evergreen Park.